Welcome, everyone. Are you planning to take the NPTEL exam for programming, data structure, and algorithm in Python? If so, you might be wondering how to prepare for it. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about the exam pattern, question types, assignments, and topics to help you ace the exam with ease. Now that we've covered the overview, let's take a closer look at what we'll be discussing in this presentation. Here's a quick rundown of the agenda. Exam pattern. We'll discuss the structure of the NPTEL exam of programming, data structure, and algorithm in Python, including the number of questions, duration, and scoring criteria. Question types. We'll explore the types of questions you can expect to see on the exam, including multiple choice and coding based questions, and provide tips on how to approach each type. About assignments. We'll cover the importance of assignments and how they can help you prepare for the exam effectively. Topics to be needed. We'll dive into the essential topics you'll need to know to ace the exam, including Python programming basics data structures, algorithms, and more. Summary, we'll wrap up with a summary of all the key takeaways, tips, and resources you need to know to prepare for the NPTEL exam of programming, data structure, and algorithm in Python successfully. By the end of this presentation, you'll have a clear understanding of the exam pattern, question types, assignments, and topics you'll need to know to excel in the exam. So, let's dive in. Welcome to Coding O'Clock, your one-stop destination for NPTEL assignment solutions. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to helping students and learners in their quest for mastering programming and computer science concepts. Our channel offers comprehensive solutions to the assignments given in NPTEL courses, which are highly regarded as one of the most rigorous and comprehensive online courses in India. At Coding O'Clock, we are committed to providing high-quality content that is accessible and free of charge. Whether you are a student looking to pass your NPTEL course with flying colors or a programming enthusiast seeking to enhance your skills, our channel has something for everyone. So, sit back, relax, and tune into Coding O'Clock for the best NPTEL assignment solutions. Now, let's talk about the exam pattern and how the questions are divided across different sections. The exam consists of four sections, each with a different number of questions and marks. Here's a breakdown of each section. Section 1. This section has 15 questions, each carrying 2.5 marks, for a total of 37.5 marks. Section 2. This section has 7 questions, each carrying 2.5 marks, for a total of 17.5 marks. Section 3 and 4. These sections have 9 questions each, with each question carrying 2.5 marks for a total of 22.5 marks per section. It's important to note that all questions are compulsory, and there is no negative marking for incorrect answers. The exam duration is 3 hours, and you must score a minimum of 40% to pass the exam. Understanding the question pattern and marking scheme is essential for exam preparation and we'll discuss strategies to approach different question types in the next section. So, let's move on to the next slide. Now, let's take a closer look at the different types of questions you can expect to see in the exam. Section 1 consists of 15 multiple-choice questions. These questions will test your knowledge of the basic concepts of Python programming data structures, and algorithms. Here's an example of what a question might look like. To prepare for this type of question, make sure you have a strong foundation in the basic concepts and definitions. It's also essential to practice solving similar questions to get a feel for the type of questions that might appear on the exam. Additionally, it's a good idea to go through all the quiz questions at least once a day before the exam. 
This will help you reinforce your understanding of the topics and identify any gaps in your knowledge. Moving on to section 2, this section consists of 7 answer writing questions. These questions will test your ability to write code to solve specific problems. Here's an example of what a question might look like. Additionally, for this section, the topics that you need to focus on are permutation, heap, and binary tree. These topics are fundamental to understanding data structures and algorithms, and it's essential to have a good grasp of them to score well on the exam. So, make sure you practice these types of questions at least once to get a feel for the exam pattern, and identify any areas where you might need more practice. In the next section, we'll discuss the remaining two sections of the exam, so let's move on. Moving on to section 3, this section also consists of 9 questions that are a mix of multiple choice and answer writing types. The topics covered in this section include data structures and algorithms, recursion, and dynamic programming. To score well in this section, you'll need to have a good understanding of these topics and be able to apply your knowledge to solve problems. However, it's important to note that the questions in this section can be more challenging than the previous sections, and you may need to do more practice to tackle them successfully. So, make sure you dedicate enough time to practice solving complex problems related to data structures and algorithms, recursion, and dynamic programming. This will help you become more familiar with the types of questions you can expect to see and prepare you for the exam. In the final section, we'll summarize our key takeaways from this tutorial, so let's move on. Finally, we come to section 4 which consists of nine questions that are a mix of multiple choice and answer writing types. This section tests your understanding of the more advanced concepts of Python programming and data structures, including topics such as lists, tuples, dictionaries, sorting, and more. It's important to note that the questions in this section will have three subparts. You must answer all subparts to get full marks for the question. Here's an example of what a question might look like. To prepare for this section, make sure you have a good understanding of the topics and can apply your knowledge to solve problems. It's also essential to be comfortable with writing code and explaining your thought process. So, be prepared to tackle both MCQ and answer writing type questions in this section and ensure you answer all subparts of a question to maximize your score. We've covered all four sections of the exam and the types of questions you can expect to see. In the final section, we'll summarize our key takeaways, so let's move on. To perform well in the NPTEL exam of programming, data structures, and algorithms in Python, you should focus on the following areas. List, familiarize yourself with list operations, such as accessing elements, adding or removing elements, and slicing. Tuples. Understand the differences between tuples and lists and learn how to work with tuples efficiently. Dictionary. Learn how to create and manipulate dictionaries, including adding or removing key value pairs and iterating through them. Sorting. Understand how to implement various sorting algorithms such as bubble sort, merge sort, quick sort, and selection sort. Tree, learn about the different types of trees, such as binary trees, and their operations like insertion, deletion, and traversal. Permutation, understand the concept of permutation and how to apply it to solve problems. Focusing on these areas will help you strengthen your knowledge of Python programming and data structures and increase your chances of performing well on the exam. In summary, this tutorial provides a comprehensive guide on how to prepare for the NPTEL exam of programming, data structure, and algorithm in Python. The tutorial covers essential topics such as the exam pattern, question types, assignments, and crucial topics needed to ace the exam. The video also provides a breakdown of the exam pattern the time limit for the exam, and tips for managing time effectively. 
At the end of the video, viewers will have all the key takeaways, tips, and resources they need to prepare for the exam successfully. We hope you found this tutorial helpful in preparing for the NPTEL exam of programming, data structures, and algorithms in Python. By now, you should have a better understanding of the exam pattern, question types, and topics to focus on to perform well on the exam. At Coding O'Clock, we strive to provide you with the best resources and solutions to help you succeed in your academic pursuits. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you for choosing Coding O'Clock for your NPTEL exam preparation needs. We wish you the best of luck in your exam and all your future endeavors.